All right, the G309 Lightspeed from Logitech, their newest shape that follows in line with their G305 and their G303 um, Shroud Edition. The G305, I think, is just a little awkward on the sides, right? I mean, obviously, you don't see them next to them. I have used them. The sides were a little awkward, right? And then the G303 Shroud Edition was just too big of a mouse. I have the Super Light next to me, and well, while this mouse is 120 millimeters long it does feel the best out of all the logitech mice that i've used for smaller hands and well that's where the good of this mouse ends the shape is actually top tier i like the shape i like how it feels i like how comfortable it is it's one of those shapes that are more claw oriented to like palm because of how robust the booty is in the back and it kind of just sits right in the back of your palm right you get a lot of stability, you get a lot of comfortability out of this mouse, and that's the only good thing. Now, I'll show you side by side based on the side profile, or the size profile, GPX, and the G309. G309 is much, it, it's a much smaller feeling in hand than the GPX, and I honestly like this shape more than GPX. But, that's where the goodness ends, and where I don't understand what Logitech is doing anymore. They release a 60% keyboard, $180. Doesn't have any of the cool fancy stuff, right? And it's $180. I don't know what they're doing. They release a mouse at $75. Only thing is a good shape. But this thing weighs 86 grams. Now when I tell you I've actually used this mouse for 5 plus hours the other day. And it felt like I just got done with an intense forearm session at the gym. 2 plus hours in. Forearm was getting tired. Hand was getting tired. I was seeing more under aiming with the mouse throughout the day. Um, I was just getting tired. I was getting fatigued. Really isn't anything great when you're trying to test something out. But that's why weight is very important when it comes to these mice. Because once you get higher than 50, 60 grams, that's when you start seeing just the negatives of heavyweight mice. Now, another criminal aspect of this mouse is that it's rocking a double-A battery. I mean, plug in the double-A battery, how you, that's how you turn it on. Or, you see underneath, they have the magnetic kind of things. You can use the power play and their amazing power play mat. I mean, I honestly, I don't even think anybody's using the power play mat, but that's where you can shave off a bunch of weight and keep the mouse about 68 grams as they advertise. But honestly, nobody's using that mat and everybody's probably gonna use a double-A battery. Or you can actually replace double A with the triple A battery and the adapter, but you're only going to shave off about, I would say, less than 10 grams. While that could be good, um, I still wouldn't recommend it. I mean, this thing's just a brick. It's a brick in hand. You're going to fatigue a lot faster than something like 38 grams, better, sh honestly, better shape for smaller hands, better weight better balancing overall just better mouse for i think i think it's like 20 dollars more i mean it is what it is clicks you got the pretty uninteresting side buttons that have a little mush to them you got the same opticals that the gpx is using you can swap them from optical to hybrid in the software 1k hertz pulling and well these skates are also disgusting as well you have no options of replacing them because of how thin they are. Dots won't even fit on them. And, I mean, I I just don't know. So, there you have it. You have a very, very good shape ruined by Logitech's kind of thought process of keeping this trapped in 2012. And if they ever did make a Superlight, I mean, they still haven't made a G305 Superlight like everybody wanted. Or a Superlight or a GPX Mini like everybody wants. So this is probably going to be just another downfall from Logitech. So next mouse that we will review, right, is going to be, that is not the right mouse. It's going to be the Attack F1 Ultimate, a 38 gram mouse that is a comfortable shape, better mouse, even just like $10 more expensive than the G309 but just outdoes Logitech in every other way because it's not Logitech and they actually want to do something better. 
So rise up. Love you guys. God bless. And we'll see you for the next one.